Control Panel Overview. In this training video, we'll be diving into the various settings and uses of the control panel. The main tab is where all of the control is at for the Wi Fi Ranger. It is also the tab that will show what the Wi Fi Ranger is doing, what it is connected to, and how it is connected to the internet. The three colored windows at the top are status boxes. They are Wi Fi, Internet, and Cellular. The Wi Fi window shows what the Wi Fi Ranger is currently doing with a Wi Fi interface or show what it's connected to. If it is connected to something, it will update the signal bars in real time so you know if the signal is getting any stronger or weaker. It also gives the control of choosing which radio to control or view messaging for. When I have internal selected, it will show all messaging for the internal radio status of this Wi Fi Ranger. Also, all control options will be done with that radio, such as scans, joins, or ranges. If I choose Wi-Fi Ranger Boost or Wi-Fi Ranger Control, then all messaging and control will be for that instead. You can even toggle between different radio buttons to compare scan results, speeds, and other information. The Wi-Fi status window also has a small drop-down arrow to show range options and real-time connection information. Next, the internet window shows whether the Wi-Fi Ranger is online or offline. If it's online, it will say how it's online with which interface it's using to get internet access. It will also say if the Wi-Fi Ranger is currently processing or working on a task. The auto connect button below the messaging starts an automated process to try to find an internet connection in any way the Wi-Fi Ranger can. It's a one-click way of attempting to get the Wi-Fi Ranger online based on the order from the setup tab. The last window is the cellular window. It is where all information about cellular internet connections are shown. If a supported USB modem or tether device is plugged in and connected, this window will show the signal strength and speed of the connection. You can also tell the USB modem or tether device to connect or disconnect here. The rest of the main tab is where the scan results are shown at. Scans are done using the scan button below and will update the networks in the area that surround you. A scan row will be highlighted green if the Wi-Fi Ranger is currently connected to that network, and the radio button and the Wi-Fi status window will be highlighted green too. You can also perform one-click joins with the join buttons next to the network names. If you'd like to manually connect to a specific network, click the join button next to it. If a password is required, you will be asked to enter it in. Last, if you'd like to connect the Wi-Fi Ranger to another modem or router using an Ethernet cable, you can tell it to connect or disconnect here. The Wi-Fi tab has all the settings related to wireless on it. The first window here is the storage and configuration of network names and keys the Wi-Fi Ranger uses to connect with. When you connect to a network that's password protected, the name and password are stored here. You can also manually add a name and key for later configuration so you don't have to enter it in later. The second window here is for network tokens. This is where you can prefer or avoid certain networks, or even set a network as a last resort for a Wi-Fi connection. The rest of the configuration options here are for configuring the private and public Wi-Fi networks or other small Wi-Fi related settings. The most important configuration option here is to change the private WPA key. You want to change this to something different as soon as you get your Wi-Fi Ranger. The Setup tab is where you will configure the core features of what the Wi-Fi Ranger has to offer. Features such as Failover, Swapback, and Hot Standby are all configured here. The first half of the page is related to setting up the interfaces the Wi-Fi Ranger can use to get an internet connection. The Order column determines what interfaces it will try to use for an internet connection, while the Active column tells whether the device should be used or not. If it's active and configured, the Wi-Fi Ranger can use it as a possible connection. The settings column has a gear icon. Clicking this gear icon will expand the settings to configure specific interface information. The connection automation window is how often the Wi-Fi Ranger checks for internet to make a decision to start the failover process or not. If failover is enabled, it will start an auto connect based on the order above. The more frequent the checks, the more sensitive the Wi-Fi Ranger will be for internet drops. The system preferences are where you simply turn on or off some basic Wi-Fi Ranger features, the main being failover and initial auto-connect. 
Lastly, you can generate a log file, reboot the Wife Ranger, or reset the Wife Ranger to factory defaults at the very bottom of the screen. The Fusion tab is used to create a mobile automated virtual private network between Wi-Fi Rangers. A common use scenario with Fusion is to have one Wi-Fi Ranger at home and one Wi-Fi Ranger while traveling. If both are in the same Fusion network, all devices behind the Wi-Fi Rangers will be directly accessible by each other, so media drives, printers, computers, and other devices can be accessed as if you were there. More information about Fusion will be in a later video. The Advanced tab is where advanced network settings can be configured. Most of our customers will not need to use or know about the Advanced tab. This is where things like port forwarding, DNS settings, DMZs, and private LAN aliases are all set up. The Status tab has no controller setup options. It just gives you some information that may be valuable. It's broken down into three tables. Connection information shows the current IP address and default gateway of the Wife Ranger, as well as information about the IP, if it's central fuse capable or not. The device information is to show MAC addresses and IP addresses of the Wife Ranger interfaces in case you need to know those. Lastly, the currently connected table is to show what has recently connected on your Wife Ranger and shows the IP, MAC address, and what network they were on. Thank you for watching the Control Panel Overview. For more specific information about Wi-Fi Ranger features, please watch our videos at our website, www.wifiranger.com.